my family, baby girl Lily Badana, has been christened in an amazing ceremony in California, Montecito. And now she is referred to as Princess Lilibet Diana. And the tabloids are so so angry, pissed off at Harry and Meghan because they've dared to call their daughter Princess Lilibet Diana. My family, I recall when baby girl Lilibet Diana was born, she was bullied over a name. And all the tabloids are showing the entire world their toxicity by once again creating folks' outrage over the fact that Harry and Meghan have called their daughter Princess Lilibet Diana. And my family, so why? Why did Harry and Meghan call their daughter Princess Lilibet Diana? Now here's why. And I quote what is already has been said my family it is understood that both lily and archie's title as princess and prince will be used in formal settings but not in every everyday use by harry and megan both harry and megan are keen not to deny their children their birthright but wish to let them decide for themselves if they want to keep using their titles or drop them later on. My family, and don't forget one thing, that in line with the precedent created by latest patent issued by George V in 1917, it clearly dictates that my family, the grandchildren of the current reigning monarch, are entitled or being styled as the prince and princess. That is basically the law. That is basically Archie and Lilibet's birthright. And from the moment the queen passed away, Archie and Lilibet became prince and princess officially. That is what happened, and it happened back then. And my family, still the website of the royal family, still styles Archie and Lilbet as master and miss, not prince and princess. However, based on what is being leaked by the royal family and the palace to the carnival of so-called experts back in the UK. They are confirming that Buckingham Palace has said that Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have confirmed their preference to use Lilibet's princess title. You know? And the royal family, the website, will now be updated in due cause, they say. In due cause. Not immediately. In due cause, they say. But when the Queen passed away, we saw how quickly the other titles were changed. Charles became king. William became the Prince of Wales. But when it's Harry and Meghan, and their kids, their titles will change in due course, the palace said. I mean, how hard can it be to change a website? How hard can it possibly be? It isn't hard. My family, it is not hard. And it's sad really how the royal family continues to say one thing and their actions show otherwise. But I'm happy that Harry and Meghan are keen not to deny their kids, their children, their birthright. But wish to let them decide for themselves what they want. If they want to keep using their titles or drop them later on. It is Lilibet and Archie's 
choice. You know, I love that. I love that from the bottom of my heart. It is a little bit an Archie's choice, my family. And also, if Charles wants to be so, so petty and remove Archie and Lily's title, the world will see it themselves with their own two eyes. Like they have seen how Charles is a failed father by his move to forcefully evict Harry and Meghan from their UK home. From more cottage that Harry and Meghan fully paid for. And so my family also more on this. I like to read some comments on this issue, on the reaction on line kindly on Twitter because right now this is very much trending the power of Lilibet Diana Princess Lilibet Diana I love to see it and some carnival or so-called experts are clearly not happy one of them allow me just paraphrase Dan Wooten first of all abused Harry Meghan for referring to Lilibet as princess in the announcement of her christening and he claims that Harry and Meghan hate everything about the institution of the monarchy and are trying to bring it down, yet still want to push it on every, on their very Californian daughter, he says. Once again, being xenophobic. Xenophobic to a child. Xenophobic. Yes, Liberty is American. Yes. Yes, she is. But she is the daughter of Harry and Meghan. She is the daughter of a prince of the UK. Prince Harry. Born in the UK. The son of. The late Diana. Everyone knows that. And the current reigning monarch in the UK. This same same Dan Wooten. My family. I just can't stand his abuses. Xenophobia and racism. I just can't stand it one bit. I can't stand it one bit. However. It's important to note. And even Americans out there. With this rhetoric that UK carnival or so-called experts are using to even target a child, calling Lilibet very Californian daughter. Where have I heard that? I recall how they call Megan too American. She's very, very American. They don't like Megan because she's so American. My family, xenophobia. Xenophobia. That's what it is. And also, don't forget racism. Because I can never forget the comment that Dan Wooten wrote in his article for the Daily Mail saying this disgusting racist word, and I quote, Members of the royal family should be whiter than white. A clear dig towards Meghan Markle. And now, someone, Dan Wooten, who works for GB Propaganda News. And which every single day, they keep on showing the obsession towards Harry and Meghan. They can't shut up about Harry and Meghan. Not one day goes by that they can't stop talking about Harry and Meghan. Not one day ever goes by. And now, they're even targeting Harry and Meghan's daughter, Lilibet. Because she's called a princess. Their racism is showing 100% it is showing my family and it's disgusting just how racist UK media are and Dan Wooten is a sad little man because that's just, that's just who he is make no mistake about that 100% and my family overall people are happy Except the normal trolls, really, who are always trolling Harry and Meghan. And I've seen also even Dr. Shola herself has posted on Twitter about this. Allow me to read you her comment that she made on Twitter, please. And I quote, I'm glad cutie Princess Lilibetana was surrounded by those who love and wish her well. Well done. Harry and Meghan for keeping christening intimate. Shameful 
that King Charles and Prince William snubbed Lilibet, though invited. Was there representation from the royal family? The answer is no. My family, the answer is no. And I get why tabloids are angry. Because guess what? The tabloids missed out on their money shot. They wanted so, so badly to have Harry and Meghan in the UK with their kids so they can get that photo. No wonder, really, they were writing about, you know, little bit being christened because they were hoping for a chance, an opportunity at getting those photos, writing those stories, making money off of Harry and Meghan, two royals they say they hate. And also their kids. And now, from now on, they won't be able to write those articles or get that money shot of Harry and Meghan's daughter, Lilibet Diana. You know, I love just how Harry and Meghan are very protective of their baby daughter, Lilibet Diana. Now, my family, someone said that the rest of the royal family have proven themselves to be jealous and mean. Well done, Harry and Meghan. I'm happy that they did not even show up. The rest of the royal family, because you all know just how toxic they are, really. They would have ruined that happy, happy moment. Celebrating little bit's christening. Now, my family, someone said that Princess Lilibet, the world loves you. Yes, 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 you are loved 100%. You are loved, baby girl Lilibet Diana. Happy christening, Princess Lilibet. Someone said that, indeed, indeed, I wish her a very, very happy christening. Surrounded with so much love, I'm happy that she got to have that. Surrounded with so much love and support from loving parents. I love that with all my heart and soul. So, so happy for them, 100%. Now, my family, allow me to read more comments on, on this. Now, my family, someone said, congratulations to Harry and Meghan on the christening of their daughter, Princess Lilibet Diana. Someone said that. Oh, happy, happy day. Princess Lilibet Diana is christened. Indeed, 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 my family. So, so happy about this. 100%. Two years ago, the 8th of March, Harry, Meghan, with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana on her way. A photo by Mr. Harriman. Someone said, Happy Women's Day, everyone out there. My family, I love this so, so much. I love this for Harry and Meghan so, so much. May they always be happy each and every single day of their life. May God bless them immensely, my family. Now, my family... One thing is clear, first of all, my family, is that Lilibet is a princess. She became a princess when the queen passed away. She and also Archie, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, my family, that's when they became prince and princess. It is the tabloids and some members of the farm who clearly did not want to refer to them as prince and princess. Don't forget what Meghan said. There are conversations to ensure that Archie and Lilibet did not have their birthright. But I'm glad how Harry and Meghan are fighting for their kids to have their birthright because it is their birthright and it is only Archie and Lilibet that get to decide. That get to decide exactly what they want in the future. And no one should ever take that away from Archie and baby girl Lilibet Diana. Now my family, it's a happy day. A happy day and I'm so, so happy for Prince Harry, Meghan and also for the amazing godfather Tyler Perry himself. A good man 
with a very, very, very good heart, who has always been there for Prince Harry, Meghan, Archie, and Lil Bedana. Lil Bedana. And also Doria Raglan, also present at Lil Bed's christening. My family, I'm happy that Archie and Lil Bed are surrounded with so, so much love. I am so, so happy from the bottom of my heart. Now, my family, tell me what you think about this kindly. I like to hear your opinion, my family. The response of the carnival of so-called experts is quite telling. First of all, it's racism. Also, it's xenophobia. And we can all see from the reaction, really. The anti-Americanism. On one moment, they want American attention, priority for the other members of the royal family. However, clearly, they keep on showing just how xenophobic they are towards actual Americans born in America. From little bit to Meghan Markle, it's clear what we see. Tell me, tell me again. The tabloids are not just racist, but they're also very much xenophobic. And we must condemn this rhetoric from the carnival of so-called experts, even going so far as to target a child, abuse a child, or because they are called princess. Because the carnival of so-called experts don't, don't deem the daughter of a biracial black woman as worthy of being called princess. After hounding out the mother, Megan, out of the UK, they can't stand it one bit. My family, let them know this. We, as people of color, are going to thrive, not survive. That's what's going to happen. And Megan and Harry are thriving and continue to thrive each and every single day all their lives, not surviving. Life is about thriving, feeling happy, being happy. And I'm happy that on this special momentous day, it happened last week, that Lilibet was surrounded with love and so was Archie. Megan and Harry are amazing parents who will always be there to protect and fight for their kids. And may God bless them immensely. Not just for each other. Not just for their love. Harry and Meghan will fight for each other and also for their kids. Always and forever. And also for those who love them. Their true friends who have become family. That's Harry and Meghan. And may God bless them immensely. My family, with that and so much more. My family, this news is trending worldwide. The power of Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet, Diana. You know, it's just so, 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 so amazing, really. So, so amazing. Now, Archie and Lilibet, may God bless them so, so much. And Lilibet was christened by Reverend John Taylor. May God bless her so, so much. And may God bless the Reverend that christened baby girl Lilibet Diana. My family, stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Thank you and stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of the Square Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more. Stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.